tutorial on how to edit with Adobe Premiere Pro. I am going to teach you guys that how to create a futuristic Instagram holographic effect. Subscribe and hit the bell to get notified for more amazing tutorials that are yet to come. Before starting, remember to record yourself in a way so that you looks like you are using Instagram in the air or as a hologram style. Then screen record your phone using any screen recorder. I suggest Moby Zen as it is the best right now. A little tip while recording the screen of your phone, remember to match it with your main recording of yourself. Once everything is done, head over to Premiere Pro. At first, drag the main clip into the timeline. Here, I am expanding this so that I can able to see the video clearly. Then, drag the Instagram recording into the track 2 as NPIP. Now, click on the PIP video so that here at left, its effect control properties will open. Then in the effect properties here, adjust the scale of your PIP according to your main recording. Then adjust the position likewise. Now in the import menu, hover to the effect section. Here in the search section, write Luma. Drag this Luma key effect and then put it onto the PIP track. Now here in the effects control section, make the threshold of the Luma as according to your liking. I am going for the one person. And then minimize it. Now again in the effects section, this time, write 3D. Well, if you have trap cord suit like me, then good, you can use that. But I am using the basic 3D effect for this. Put it onto the PIP track and then in the effects control section, using swivel, change the axis of the PIP track. Now adjust the distance to the image if you want to. Now adjust the scale of the PIP track according to your choice. You can make it larger or shorter as per your liking. Now adjust the position of the PIP track according to your hand length or your video size. I think this particular position is good. Now in the effect section, if you want to, while it is not needed much, in the video effects in the distort section, use the corner pin. Now in the effects control, adjust the right or left pin position. Well, this can be used to give the PIP track a more submersive look. But I think that I don't need to use it for this video. So I will delete this effect. Now in the effects control, go to the opacity section and then choose a blend mode according to your liking, whatever suits best for your video. This actually gives it that holographic feel. Now comes the main part. As I told you to record the video and screen so that they are in a sync, but sometimes the sync does not happen. So. Now you have to adjust both the tracks manually so that they are in a sync. Which means that when you swipe your finger in the air, the swipes should also happen in the PIP track. Once you adjust everything accordingly, your effect will get completed. Now you can export this into a video. So guys, what are your thoughts on this video? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you think that this video is worthwhile, then hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that I can able to bring amazing videos like this for you. Till then, see you later.